Nearly eight years ago, in June of 2015, the R9 390 launched, and this card came with eight gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM, and today, eight gigabytes of RAM is just not cutting it. Say what's up. Meow. The main reason I'm bringing up this older AMD card is not only did it come with eight gigs of RAM all the way back then, its predecessor also came with eight gigs of RAM. So now you have cards like the RX 580, the GTX 1080, and even the RTX 2080, all coming with eight gigs of RAM, generation after generation of hardware increases. Nvidia is known to do some pretty weird stuff. For an example, the 3060 Ti came out and had a faster memory bus than the regular 3060, but it only had 8 gigs of RAM versus the counterpart or the 3060 having 12 gigs of RAM. So now here we are in 2023, we have new GPUs coming out pretty much left and right. And we have this leak from Gigabyte that ended up showing up on the video card site. Now, if we look down here, it looks like the 4070 is going to have 12 gigs, which would make sense because the 4070 Ti or AKA 4080 baby edition um, has 12 gigs and the gigabyte 4060 gaming OC right here, eight gigabytes. So they're not saying if this is the 4060 Ti, uh, I believe it's just the regular 4060, but this is still kind of a problem, um, this day and age. So not even that long ago when the RTX 3080 10 gig came out, um, this game was actually packaged with many of those cards. And I remember getting mine specifically. I bought the Asus Tough model and I loved it. But I remember having to turn settings down at 4K because I could not get the proper frame rate or the proper look that I wanted to, to achieve running that card because the VRAM was maxing out. And as you can see right here, it says 11 gigabytes. So 11 gigabytes is quite a lot of memory. And if these new 4060s come out and they're competing with the performance of this card and they're costing more new than a used model like this, it's going to be really hard to recommend that card because you, you, you're moving forward. Yes, maybe it's faster in some things, but the second you turn those settings up to take advantage of that card's power, you're gonna hit a uh, VRAM cap and you're just not going to be able to get the performance that you want. So the main problem with this whole thing isn't even just the eight gigs of RAM, it's the probable price that they're going to put on this card. Um, if I was to take a guess, I'm gonna say it's probably gonna be around $500 for this card and this model, who knows, the Gigabyte model is probably gonna be an extra $50 on top of that. So when you really break down this new pricing that has happened with the 40 series, yes, I know we've been banging that in. Every tech tuber is like, oh my God, it's too expensive. Okay, let's say the inflation is up and we have to pay more money for these cards. You're still not even getting a good deal because you can find an RTX 3080 that'll do the same thing or better for less money, most likely. Is it going to be secondhand? Yes, it will have to be secondhand or used market. There is some stock of the 3080 brand new still hanging around, but it's definitely dwindling. And after the recent Best Buy uh, complete wipeout where they made those cards $420, it was like impossible to keep them in stock. Now, I'm sure these sales didn't hang around that long. Uh, clearly, they sold out probably really fast. But as you can see here, you got 420, 299, 879. This is the 3090 Ti over here for 879. So these were some pretty insane deals when that happened. Um, if we go over to the regular Best Buy site, yes, they do still have some in stock. Uh, I would not recommend buying a 3080 Ti for $1,286 when the 4080 is cheaper. But um, I'm sure someday soon, these big companies like Newegg and Best Buy are probably gonna have another sale. They have to get rid of that old inventory and they have to move on to the new stuff. So those days will come and the 30 series days are numbered. Um, I've already had a few friends of mine ask why their 3060 can't really run Hogwarts Legacy. And Hogwarts Legacy is a good example of like the new crisis. It's kind of the new benchmark 
or standard, I guess you could say. And if you scroll down and check this out, just the settings alone for 4K, you need a 3990 Ti or a 7900 XT. So we're talking about some serious performance. If you, you know, go down a little bit, if you want to go down to like the recommended specs, you need a 1080 Ti, which is still very doable. Um, a 3060 will play this game just fine. It's it just take there's some uh, finickiness with it. It's not like a perfectly optimized game. So I've mostly had problems explaining how to optimize it or set it up for them. But when you're looking at the 4K ultra settings and all these other games that are coming out that are requiring at least 10 gigs or more of RAM, putting eight gigs on a card like the 4060 is just so backwards. One of the questions I get all the time is, well, what card should I buy if I can't buy a 40 series or shouldn't buy a 40 series? Well, there's a few over here. Um, this would be my number one recommendation. I think everyone knows this. The RTX 3080 is a solid, solid card. Um, if you can find one, I would suggest something like going to Micro Center. They actually have a lot of return cards that are perfectly fine. People return them because they want to upgrade and they act like there's something wrong and almost every time there isn't. The other card, the ARC A770 is around $290 right now, I believe, $280. I'll double check that. This card comes with 16 gigs of RAM. Um, if you're looking for that like 3060 like performance and you don't want to buy a 3060 or you're looking, you know, you're trying to be budget conscious. This is a really good option. I've had tons of good experience with uh, with this card so far. There's been like really no issues. Um, I know at launch there was quite a few problems. Um, there's a few cards to not buy right here too. This card comes up a lot. The 2080 Ti people always ask me about this card should i get one um you know what's what's the caveat i know it's older but it has 11 gigs of ram it's still pretty fast and a lot of times they're like 350 dollars well there are a bunch of good ones but they are starting to get a bit old and the early models actually this is a gray box this one right here stay away from this the gray box had the early micron memory and they actually failed very short uh, in a very very short period of time they're kind of like ticking tie bombs um so i would say the 2080 ti probably just stay away from it and then lastly we have the 3070 ti <laughs> just stay away from this card i would say the extra price for that ti uh badge on there is just totally not worth it if you already have a 3070 keep it that's a great card the TI is just another one I get a lot of questions about, like why, you know, is it so much better? Because usually when they slap a TI on something, it's like a big jump or a big leap, unlike the 3080 TI. But um, so I would say probably stay away from these two cards. If you're on a budget and you don't want to buy a new 40 series, look for a 3080. And if you're on a real budget and you want to try something different, the Arc is sick. It's an awesome card. I have it in this custom loop build back here right now, and it's been nothing but awesome. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Till next time, peace. What do you want to say? Did you want to say something about the um, 8 gigabytes on the 4060 Ti, maybe? Or 4060? Yeah, it, it blows. And... It's so stupid. That's right, bud. You're correct. Uh, it blows and it's stupid.